Welcome Capricorn to your May love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So how we do things here is we're going to use this deck to pull some energies, do some tarot, and at the end of the reading we're going to pull these lovers of oracles followed by these hidden truths from your person. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with your reading and see what's coming through. We do have the Seven of Wands in reverse. We have the Five of Rings, Five of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Wands here, and Justice in reverse. And we have the Ace of Swords, so a breakthrough here. Now just keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Seven of Wands, King of Cups, Nine of Cups, the Tower, the Hermit, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Six of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Page of Cups, and the Page of Swords. Okay, Capricorn, so I feel your challenge here is the Nine of Cups. Now, something that once made you happy or was a wish fulfillment is now a challenge, okay? We have what you don't see coming is this Ten of Wands energy. This is feeling a lot on your plate. We have the Ten of Swords, we have two Tens, which it represents completion. So with the Ten of Swords energy, it's pushing through. It's hard endings or something that was very hard as we have this tower moment here to where you're losing faith in the situation. No longer wanting to invest any more emotion or time or energy. You could have dealt with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or somebody carrying this energy. I feel with this Five of Rings though, it's like feeling left out in the cold by this person. Even if they didn't leave you out in the cold, it's just the feeling of loneliness, feeling unfulfilled in some way here, okay? I feel like you are very suspicious and have your guard up now questioning their intentions, especially after something very unexpected, which could have been an ending for you guys, okay? We have justice in reverse, so this is someone not taking any responsibility of their own actions, um, but I feel you're coming up as the hermit. The hermit is very wise, loving, caring, has done the inner work, all of the shadow work, aligns their mind, body, and soul, and very balanced. The page of cups is coming in, which I feel could be a very unexpected apology or unexpected message, but either way i feel like you knowing it's coming from a dishonest place because we have the page of swords here someone here is wanting to come towards you this could have been in the past present or something you're coming out of this could have been a while ago tower moments really affect our lives so this could have been you know lingering on for a very long time and i feel like you're now moving forward but we do have this outcome, which is the Six of Cups. So it's more of a past soulmate, a connection that felt very emotional. A lot of emotions were invested. But with this energy that you're carrying with this Seven of Wands, you have all the answers you need. I feel like you're, you're protecting yourself from this energy. So if they do come in, I feel like you're automatically going to block them out emotionally. Um, so you won't get hurt by them again. Okay. And I feel you have every right to, because they were once your wish fulfillment, they made you very happy. I feel, and again, emotions were involved, but I don't feel like you're going to have it anymore. I do feel like the seven of wands energy is you protecting yourself, standing your ground and not letting this person come in as they please. Okay. Especially with this page energy, when you're coming up as the wise one, <laughs> the hermit. Now with the justice card, I do feel if they lied or betrayed you in some way or completely ghosted you or however, and now wanting to come back or somebody very inconsistent, either way, if they are continuing 
to hold that behavior through their life, that's they're gonna get the same endings every time until they have to look in the mirror and fix themselves. Everybody knows how hard it is to do shadow work, to go within, to align your soul, to actually be true to yourself, okay? And with somebody like this who doesn't wanna take any responsibility and only apologizing, but you're knowing it's not coming from an honest place, you know to forgive, you know to move forward, and that's what you're doing. You're releasing this. You, you're becoming more resilient. You're, you're. It's like you've been there, done that. This is probably not even your first tower moment, right? Maybe it, this is a different situation where it's like, okay, this I can get through this. Like I feel like this is a Capricorn that is going to get through it no matter what. But it still lingers here, but it's at the end of everything. Now it's just showing resilience here with your Ten of Swords. But this is your breakthrough. I feel like your focus is you. You're, you see much, much clearer in the situation, regardless. Because they're going to get their karma no matter what, and you're knowing that. And with this breakthrough, I feel like it goes in and out in your life right it feels like uh, it gets heavy and then you break through it because it's a process but i do feel with this ace of swords you're no longer could be manipulated right even though your sun could feel a little dim and this is the sun energy could feel dim at times you know how to flip it right side up the sun is the most happiest card in the deck so even though you go through hard times or any mental conflict or feeling frustrated the sun is always there to shine because you know there's gonna be light at the end of the tunnel. The tower comes with light. Lots of light, lots of breakthroughs and resilience and so much more wisdom. So I feel like that's where you're going. So now you're knowing what you want and don't want out of a relationship and you know if this person comes in with an apology, which most likely I feel that they already tried to or have, um, you're not really going to, you'll, it's just okay, that's fine. <laughs> move on right yeah they bring a lot of um headaches sleepless nights in the past but you're releasing that you're giving up hope you're moving on you're no longer investing it if this it's hard when it's a wish fulfillment when it's everything you've ever wanted and then all of a sudden you know they turn into this person that you don't even recognize or you know a tower moment happens and it's so hard to get through it right but you are getting through it capricorn you are okay so let's see what this person has to say let's get more in depth in the reading see what this person has to say i regret lying to you yeah it was betrayal it was lies it's like a lot of hiding behind this type of charm you know but in the end i feel like the justice is here so karma is here okay karma is in play they're just not taking responsibility, but it's here. So the universe is here to protect you. I want to feel that way again. Yeah, so this person can be trying to come back because we have the Six of Cups energy passed. So it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> if they keep coming, like your wish fulfillment's coming back, but I feel like either way, it's gonna be tough, but you're gonna get through it okay you're gonna get through it i love you unconditionally especially if they're saying all that to you and i'm becoming a better person so again this person could be coming back i rarely say this but this is someone who you know is is feeling that guilt but still not fully taking responsibility because there's a fear in you they're gonna do it again Let's see what this Messages of Love Oracles has to say. Ooh. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. So retreat. So you guys could be separated from this person or just haven't heard from this person for a while. The timing is just not quite right. So wait. Sorry, it's getting dark. Intuition, you already know the answer you seek. And that's with the hermit here. And then we have interference an external party is intruding on this relationship so that could be for some of you a third party situation and challenges here let's see what the lovers of um, oracles have to say 
When you pass from the world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. I feel like this person's coming in with an apology. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Nah. When I see this card, I feel like it's more of you. It's like time will heal the situation. Trust the universe and let everything unfold naturally. Okay. Just trust the universe and have faith and keep doing you, even though this energy wants to try to keep coming up, you know, new beginning, a new adventure awaits, embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Yes. And that's what I see here with this. What is this? The Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Something could be taking a while, but this is beautiful. This is a new passionate beginning coming in for you. Something that you're starting, something that you're wanting to do. And then life is series. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Awesome. And let's pull a soul tree card. Let's see what we can get here for you, okay? and see what's coming in. These have already been shuffled. Let's see. We have release. Seventh chakra. This is your uh, connecting to your higher power. Very intuitive Capricorn I'm connecting with and detachment. Exactly, and honor yourself. Honor your spirit. This is what spirit wants you to know. Honor yourself know who you are here okay very very intuitive so this, this is you connecting to your higher power this is you connecting to your faith to your beliefs and it's your intuition is detach release and honor yourself okay yeah you're worth so much Capricorn. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this reading did help someone. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. God bless.